Hey guys! I don't know if you know about our gamer giveaway. If you do, sorry for this. If not, check it out. I've put the link in the description. Uh, it's a big thank you because we reached 100 subscribers. Thank you so much. Please go and check out the video and enter. It'll be drawn June 10th, which will be our Zelda video for that week. So make sure you keep an eye out to see if you won! Hello YouTube and welcome to another RJ Makes a Game video. Um, I just wanted to talk, this one is a bit about level design, so this is my favourite part here and you know this is the thing that we've already made up, you know, and this is what we've been working on, I'm currently playing it with my joystick, it all works, it's nice and smooth, we've got that pixel perfect collisions, we've got life systems, we've got a death system. Um, and you know we've got sort of like this goal of collecting these things. The only other thing is really having a stage exit which we'd have to put in but after that then we'd have like a pretty much complete game. I'm not going to do the stage exit right now because I want to spend a minute or two talking about sort of you know the game design here that, that we um, have, have set up. So I've just made this sort of briefly but I wanted to keep in mind ideas of game design as, as we go through. So, um, first off, I'm starting my player at the bottom left, um, you know, being on the left-hand side of the screen and making your way to the right sort of, you know, tradition in games, I guess. Um, but y I want you to take a second to just look at how I've set out the, how I've set out the screen here. Um, I think that's kind of, um, you know, this demonstrates various good uh, practices, you know, sort of the idea that you're teaching the player as, as they play. So I've got uh, you know this life under here. So if I let's let's just reset the root. So I've got this uh, life under here, which um, you know you have to walk past to get. So it sort of calls your attention to it, and it's not flashing. Also, in the last episode, I said I'd check that it's not flashing. So we'll have to fix that at some point too. Um, so you know the player has to sort of go backwards to get that bonus. Um, you could put that little. You know this is a little design that's used by Sonic and Mario a lot. Um, I know Sonic used to do that with gems a lot, is they'd show you where the gem is but not show you how to get to it um, and you'd have to try and work it out so um, that's good and you can put that later on like I've just put that there at the start because it's a nice little way to get going. Um, then you've got you know sort of your first jump. Now this first jump is pretty difficult to fail like you can see like I um, yeah. so I'm not even going to jump here I'm just going to walk off the edge if you're just walking off the edge, like you, you almost can't fail that jump. Um, which you know, that's sort of showing people, you know, that, that you will have to move from thing to thing, and it's safe. That gives them the faith that it's safe, and that's really good. Um, then you know, we've got this next one here, which has like a bit of a run up. And again, you know, if you're jumping, you're going to make that jump. That's a jump you're going to make. Um, but here's the thing: if you're not, so again, that's pretty safe. So. Um, if you're, in fact, it might even be safe going the other way. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's safe going the other way as well. So uh, that's good, right? But here's the thing: when you jump over here, you can't you can't clear that next line. So again, we're keeping the player safe. But if they're standing here, they can't actually uh, get over that wall, right? So that's sort of showing them that there's a height. It teaches them what this is the height that you have to have to do. You know, like you can only jump so high, so you might have to go backwards to go forward sometimes. And then we start getting to these more trickier sort of things, you know. So that one, it's you know, it's still quite safe, but if you go too high, because it would be very easy to go too high and, you know, uh, I guess you're just going to miss that. But yeah, so, you know, you, that again, that's keeping them safe, I guess, but it, it feels risky. It feels risky because now we're, you're not on the ground, you're sort of floating in the air. Um, and you know, you're gonna jump up here and stuff like that, and this all seems pretty straightforward. So your first level, you're trying not to kill them, obviously, um, and, and that stuff, but then you get to this part up here, right? So what I would probably do um, if I was designing this, so if you have a look here, you can jump, oh, I jumped too early, but so yeah, like the way that you jump in that area is gonna influence how you get to different things, and um, you are never going to be able to make certain jumps, right? So, for instance, if I was going to design this as a level, which is what we'll be doing later, like, yeah, so you can just make that jump and then jump up there, and that's, whoops, we still haven't fixed that. <laughs> um, you know, so, I'd like, that that up there might be where you put your exit or, or something of that nature. 
and um, but you have this other thing here. So again, using that same design principle of like we're going to show people, um, you know, what what they can get to. Like you might put like a life here or a secret here or something there. Maybe a key to get to the next. Like maybe you need a key to get through the door that gets you to the next level. And um, once you're here, though, you can't get back up. You have to go back across the uh, levels and go back around and that can sort of that that can be both frustrating but it can also develop the game a bit better whoa and then again you might put something down there but once you're down here you got nowhere to go you're you're, you're trapped so um, yeah and that's just considering those ideas is um, you know uh, like putting in that thought of thinking like what is each part doing I'm just going to do a little jump here. Whoa. Ah. And obviously, you, know, you can see this is frustrating because, um, you know, I'm trying to get to where I said I would put the exit. And it's not it's not just straightforward. And that's what... That's, I guess, what makes games fun is... Oh, you're kidding me. Um, is the challenge of, of the game. So just, you know, uh, I just wanted to spend a minute talking about this level design. Like, it looks like I've just thrown blocks around randomly. Um, but actually, like, you know, you, you have to jump at the very edge, otherwise you won't make that jump, which we've just demonstrated. So that is, and if you're not here, you can't get to here. So that's a really big deal, um, to, to consider. So, um, and I just jumped off screen again. We really have to fix that. Um, but yeah, so that's, when, you, when you're doing your level design, that's something to consider. And, um, let's fix that right now. So we're having that problem with these uh, these barriers. I'm just going to change it to the black wall and I'm just going to put uh, because it's on its um, on the dot. I'm just going to yeah so like basically you would just line up your things now you can also with game make you can also stretch like whatever you know, the scale but I generally don't do that because I'm I'm not really savvy with how that works exactly but yeah so um, the, yeah the way to fix that is just to build your walls and you're gonna do the whole thing and I'm pressing shift but it's not ah How do you do the add multiple? It's shift and control. There we go. Alright, so that should fix that problem there. And, um,. Let's just double check that it does. And then that'll be my video for today. So I hope you're enjoying this series. So yeah, there you go. So you can actually see that one. If I was going to do it properly, I'd probably move it so that you couldn't see that wall um, there. So um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying this series. And I hope this is helping you learn to make a game. And I'd like to know what you want me to turn this into. Like if you want it to be fantasy or sci-fi, what you want it to happen. Let's test this now. Up here, yeah. So I can't exit the room, but you can't see why you can't exit the room, which is really good. Um, which is what we probably should do over on this wall, but you know, it, that's fine. We'll fix that up off screen. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, that's fixed. That's good level design. That's our first thing. And maybe next time we will talk about moving to the next level and checkpoints and maybe creating a menu screen at the start. Um, those things are sort of where we're headed. But yeah, please tell me what you want to see this as because that's, um, you know, that's this is part of it is making sure that you guys are get, seeing what you want to see. So thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying this and I certainly am. Uh, ciao for now, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.